It was one of the stages that we'd earmarked. There was obviously other days that suited Michael more, but we also had other riders that we thought could get up that climb at the end of the stage. Between Tour of Swiss and Tour de France, I went and drove the stage. It was quite interesting to me to see the climb before the final climb. It was quite steep and rolling and pretty grippy roads. And then we had the big descent towards the bottom of Mende. I knew it was going to be a tough climb and it was pretty borderline if Mike would be able to get up there or if it'd be more suited to the climbers. It wasn't only director sportive Matt Heyman who had highlighted stage 14 as a potential breakaway victory. As soon as the flag dropped, there was a huge battle to make the split. Eventually, a large group made the break, including Heyman's charge, Michael Matthews. So there's quite a few teams with three riders there, so to be there by yourself, normally it limits the opportunity. It'd be nice to have a, a strong rider with Michael or another climber that you could play the odds. So it definitely changed our tactics. I think maybe some of the other teams, considering that he was there by himself, probably rode him off. It's happening. Yes, it is happening, and Michael Matthews is the one who was uh, just looking to see who was going to take up the chase. Once the attack started, it would probably happen pretty quickly and a new group would form. And if he was on the wrong side of that, then his race would be decided by the team that had missed out and if they were able to bring the break back. So I was uh, encouraging him to, to try some moves just to test the group, to try and open and be ahead of anything. So he went on the attack and in hindsight, it was a really good move. Oh, now Michael Matthews. Come on, Michael. Sometimes you've got to grasp the nettle, and that's what we're seeing now. But he is grasping it very early, with 52 kilometres to go. The guys in the group behind were still attacking each other over the top of that last climb. They weren't really working well together. But of course, on that big, long descent towards the final climb, you know, you knew that one or two riders were going to commit just to bring that break back, and that would be their final job. And I was worried that Michael was spending energy up there, but I still felt like he was better off being in there than being involved in the attacks behind. 40 seconds, Blink. 40 seconds at the bottom of the climb. This is very doable. This is doable. What a ride Matthews is doing here. He's right away from the rest. He's on a mega day, is Matthews. Bertiol chased him down, you know, also not a pure climber, more of a classics rider. And when he got to Michael, of course, you think, well, he's come from the group, he's going to have the better legs. And yeah, at that point, I, I'll be honest, I thought it was over. I was just encouraging Michael to keep digging. I knew he was absolutely on his limit. Bertiol now accelerates. Big moment for Matthews to try and hang on now. And it was a surprise to me that first he held him and it looked like he was being dropped. This might be the moment. Betty All gets one bike length and turns it quickly into five or six. I was super excited when he came back and actually was on the wheel and figured that we were still in the race. So we can see Matthews getting back to Betty All here. Hot air performance by him. It's going to be over the top. Matthews not waiting, not hanging around. Your finish line is the top of this climb. Do not think about anything else but getting to the KOM. And he attacked over the top of Betiol. We had the race radio going. We heard that he got two metres, five metres, he'd gone away. Eight seconds, ten seconds. We knew the course from the top of that climb. It's really fast downhill through the last two corners and then onto the runway, and there was no way he was going to get caught from there. 200 metres to go, 12 seconds, we've won it. Michael Matthews wins a stage of the Tour de France. This, without doubt, his best. Yes! 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 Congrats, mate. The way he fought back, it was pretty incredible, and I think a lot of people have talked about that stage. It was an exciting stage to watch, whether you were a fan of our team or a fan of Michael or not. Good job, mate. Good job. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, mate. He showed a lot of determination to get back on that wheel and then even to go over the top and attack again. So, yeah, it was pretty amazing. I think it was probably his best win. We got it, boys. We got it. You won that stage, mate. You won that stage. Always keep believing. Always keep believing.